Hey guys, it's me, ZoeyPop1999 here, or Gianna. And on my Instagram today, I posted that I would be making a video of all of my recent models that I have purchased or traded for in like the last month or so. And um, if you don't know what my Instagram is, we're going to show you that right now. So it is ZoeyPop1999. Um, you can go follow me. I post on here more than I post on YouTube, but I do like certain like special videos every once in a while. So yeah, we're gonna get started. First up we have Cher Ami, who is my resculpted Gigi Valentine done by Sue Kern. I got this gal from a really good friend of mine and she gave me for a great price. So I'm gonna show you guys her other side. So here's her other side. She has a swishy tail, a new resculpted mane. And her neck has a lot of epoxy in it, and if you look on her feet, she's got a bit of fuzzies there. And finally we go to her sweet little face where she has a star that goes down into a stripe into a snip, and she has a brown eye and a blue eye. So yeah, that's Cher. Next we have Fausto, who is sculpted by Josine Fingerling and painted by Jen Ulp. and you really cannot see this guy's color. He's a lot more richer um, in, in color in person. He looks really dark here, but he's honestly not. Um, his name is Brotherhood Without Banners. Um, I got that name from, of course, Game of Thrones, and he's super adorable. Here's his little face. Can't really see it, though, but, you know, there it is. He's just got a little snip. So yeah, that's Brotherhood Without Banners. Now, both of these guys were done by Kingston Studios or Taylor. This one is a re-sculpted, um, I want to say it's like that uh, stock horse mare. Um, she, is it a he or she? I don't remember if it's a he or she. Doesn't have a name yet. And then this one is a rearing, which was an Andalusian. He's now an Appy, and I think it's Hummingbird Blues or something like that. The tag's on the shelf, but I don't have it. Um, so, yeah, it's these two guys. Super cute. Um, Taylor does great work. Totally recommend her. I know she's accepting a few commissions at the moment, but I'm not sure if she is anymore. But if you're able to get some of her work, do it, because it's really nice. This is Jordy, and he is sculpted by um, Raven Brewer from Chrysalis Studios up in Canada. He is painted by Cindy Wyatt, and he is a fjord. Um, he doesn't have a name yet, because um, I'm thinking of something from like The Hobbit or like Lord of the Rings, but I don't want it to be like too obvious, if you know what I mean. He's adorable. Cindy Wyatt did a great job on him. So, yeah. That is George. Here's his other side where you can kind of see where he has some dappling. Really subtle, but yeah. Here's his other side. Really nice shading. He's adorable. If you're able to get one of these guys painted or unpainted, do it because he's just adorable. Next we have my big guy, his Nightly Candace. Again, you cannot see any of his coloring right now. He's a really deep chestnut. Lots of different shading going on right now. He kind of looks like dark brown, maybe even black, and he's really not. He's also done by Cindy Wyatt, sculpted by Carol Williams. You can get an unpainted copy for, I think, $2.25 um, on riorondo.com. I'll put that in the description if you really want to get one. I think they're available. I'm not sure. Um, I'm naming this guy Killian from Once Upon a Time, because why not? So here's his face, and I know there's a lamp in the background right there. That was the only good light I had at the moment. So... You cannot really see his coloring at all, and it makes me kind of mad. So I'm going to turn the light off, and maybe you can see his coloring. So up next, I have my little group of G1s that I got from Model Horse Chickadee. So first, we have the gray-white um, Morgan Mare. Next to her is the Dunn, Peachy Dunn Seabiscuit, Bay Tobiano Saddlebred Black Tobiano Salad, blah, 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 blah. blah. Saddlebred and the flea bitten dapple gray Arabian mare. So it's all of these guys. I wasn't gonna do them individually because I thought it'd be like a waste of time. So yeah, that's them. 
This is the first group of horses I got from Elise or Apples and Cherries Incorporated. We have the G1 Drafter, the $1 Peter Stone Chip Morgan, a custom Arabian Stallion by Tegan Skaggs, right? Yeah, and a um, custom Morgan Mare by um, CC Osborne. So that's these guys, and there's a couple more that I got from her as well. These are the next two customs I got from Elise. On the left is a Denise Jamaro, I believe. Custom um, jumping thoroughbred that used to be owned by Jessica's collection that needs to get fixed. And then we have my Dari Draft um, painted and re-sculpted by Dari Joe Frank. So yeah. Another one I got from Elise is a custom, um, not a custom, Mini Catalina sculpted by Sarah Rose. She's actually really not that black in person. She's more like sun black and she has dapples. But you can't really see them. She's got a cute little star. Um, and she's a bit wobbly on her base, which is why I'm just holding her. Um, I cannot recall her name off of my head. I know that like she has like nan cards and stuff that has her name, but I don't remember it. So yep, that's Mini Catalina. The last horse I got from Melise is um, Vega, who is sculpted and painted by Mindy Berg. The reason why I have to hold him up is because I don't have his stand and he's wobbly on it as it is. And he does have a broken ear, but he will be sent back to Mindy to be fixed up. Um, he's really nice, super cute, and he'll probably look a little bit more normal when he has his ear back. Um, he has a long blaze, which I'm going to zoom in, I think, so you guys can see that. He's got a super cute face and two white socks, and I know she had a name for him, and I can't recall it off the top of my head, so he's just going to be called Vega for now. Yep, that's Vega. Next, we have Supernova, who was sculpted by Maggie Bennett, and this guy was painted by Lauren Vega or Classic Hoof Beats Studios. Um, he's pretty plain, really nicely done, though, and he has a star on his face. You can't see it. You could, well, actually, yeah, you can. You can see it. Um, he's really sassy. So you can see his teeth are showing as well. Um, he's really cute, though. And I either had to sell him or Matriarch, and I sold Matriarch to Taylor. So I'm pretty happy that I kept this guy because he's pretty awesome. So, yep, that's Supernova, and his name is Calusa Red. Yeah, Calusa Red. So, yep, that's him. Here we have Poet, who is sculpted by Mindy Berg. Do not know who painted this guy. I got him a couple of weeks, not a couple of weeks, probably like a month ago. He's a really cute Sabine. She, he is a really cute Sabino, and I think his name is One Hot Mess. So, yeah, there's nothing really else like to show on him. He's really detailed though, like he's got a lot of individual herring, which I kind of thought that he was done by Sheila Bishop, but Sheila Bishop does different herring techniques than this, but nonetheless, he's really cute. So, I will definitely be keeping this guy. So, yeah, that's one hot map. Second to last, we have Fabian, who was a collector club special run web special thing um, from this year. And I got him secondhand because I'm not a part of the collector's club because I'm not really into OFs. I kind of sort of am, but it kind of depends. And, like, the pictures of this guy, I'm like, oh, his dapples are, like, really nice and stuff. Um, I, think, I think I'm naming him, like, the Ice Prince or something. Sorry, my camera is running out of memory, but anyhow, he's nice, but he's kind of plain, and I'm not sure if I'm going to sell him or not. I'm going to wait until um, I show him, and if he doesn't place, he'll probably be up for sale, so if you're interested, then I will let y'all know. Yep, that's Fabian, or the ice. Last but not least, we have the Harley Custom, who I also got from a really good friend of mine. Everybody loves this horse. I think I'm naming her Wildwood Canthros. Cannot remember at the moment. Um, she's got... She's slightly resculpted. she's got a peg on her foot, and her tail has been lifted, and she was done by whoever that person is. Um, super cute, and she'll probably be staying with me, because, you know, she's just adorable. She's got, re she's got, um, what are they called? Horseshoes and stuff. So, yeah, that is Wildwood Canthros. Thank you guys for watching. Um, hope everyone's having a good Halloween. See you hopefully in a couple weeks. Bye.
boys and girls of every age, wouldn't you like to see some?